So now we are trying to define an accessor which will get us the GPA. Okay, let's see what's the idea about this. Okay, let me just go to the diagram here. So let's say, for example, if this is our, if, if this is my student record here, let's say the gym record, if I would like to calculate what gym's GPA is, what should I do? Somehow I need to go to register courses and then I want to go over one course, by, uh, one by one, the courses, all the courses. And for each course, I'm going to somehow to retrieve the letter grade for that particular course. If it is not now, of course, I can actually calculate the GPA. And then let's assume all of them are not now. Okay? And then for each letter grade, I'm actually going to convert from letter grade into the new uh, numbers using the scheme I suggested to you. And then add them up together. But how do I do that? <coughs> okay, let's uh, go to get GPA here. First of all, let's get a signature right. So what should get GPA return? Double. Double, right? Good. Numerical grade. In this case, we do not want to uh, take any input parameters because we'll simply just calculate based on the attributes. We don't need any extra information. Okay. Now, eventually, we're going to return something. Let's say we're going to return some GPA. This is something we're going to calculate. Okay. And now let's say double GPA initially is simply 0, 0.0. The, this at least will get Eclipse to compile. But this is to say, now in the middle, we're going to do some uh, computation. But I just want to initialize the GPA. We want to calculate to be 0, 0. And then eventually, after we have done the computation to change its value, we're going to return that. Okay. But now, how do we actually uh, calculate the GPA? How do we do that? Okay. First of all, we have to have a look. So you can see in this class student record here, so we do have a attribute called register courses, which is an array of course. And remember, if you look at the diagram, so register courses here is an array of course. Okay? So somehow we would like to run it run a loop to go over it. So how do we run a loop to go over it? Let's say we run a for loop. For integer i equals 0, i less than what? Counter. Less than what? Counter. Less than counter, very good, very good. Why counter rather than Because like, some of, like, if this is depending on the, like, if, if some of them are null, you're, you're going to add them also and mm. get the average of the null value also. Okay, very good. Okay, so now there are two ways to do this, okay? So I'm going to show you first way. So you got to say count. Because count is going to tell you how many courses the student have registered, okay? If so far the student have registered two courses, that means you have to go to zero and one indices of the array, okay? And then you would say I++. plus plus. So counter, yeah, not count, counter. Okay, that's one, that's uh, basically a for loop you gotta write to actually run over the, uh, the, the array. Okay, so now, how do we get an individual letter grade of the course? Okay, let's declare some string here. Let's say letter grade, LG, for example, letter grade. Okay, equals, so now I, each i is going to be a particular index in the register courses array. So now we're going to use that i to retrieve some course objects from there. So for example, let's say, if we want to retrieve this course object over here, we have to go to the first position, right? So you would say register courses and i. Sort of like approach to that we were talking about, right? Uh, like register courses. And now, so this is actually a course. How do you get its letter grade? You would say dot letter grade. Okay, that's the critical line, really. That's really a critical line. So line 42 is telling you, I'm trying to retrieve the i-th position in register courses array, which is a course. And then I will get a letter grade of that course using the dot notation. 
Okay, so please make sure you understand this line well before Friday. Okay, and then after we have get a letter grade, we'll say if the letter grade. Okay, for string we're gonna use equals. I will explain not, later not in the equal. course. Not not equal equal. Okay, if lg dot equals. If that is uh, equals uh, a, then you would say. Uh, okay, let me do uh, two things actually. So we got GPA, also we got GP. Great points. Okay. Let me think. So what we can do is to say. Let me just declare another variable called sum. Okay, the summation of all the great points. Okay. And now, if I have lg equals dot equals a, then I would say sum plus equal. Uh, it's uh, a point zero. Okay, that's one possibility. Else if so, now we just need some if else if. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know how to do this. Lg dot equals. So if, if you got a minus. Sum plus equal seven point five LG dot equals and then so you got uh, B sum plus equal seven point zero okay and then uh, etc else if okay LG dot equals so you will get uh, Okay, B minus, and then when you get B minus, you will get 6.5. Okay, let's finish this, and then B minus, it will get C and C minus, okay? Okay, I'll just, uh, else if, uh, equals C, And then else if lg dot equals c minus okay the last one let's say these are all the possibilities okay a a minus b b minus c c minus and now outside the loop which means we are, we have done with the summation okay so now one more step. How do we calculate GPA according to the sum? Okay, so we say GPA equals the sum divided by counter, and then return the GPA. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, and then I will let you write a uh, write a write a line to test this. Okay, so now how do you actually print out the GPA for Jim if you go back to the tester? Okay. So you can say system dot out dot print line. You can say Jim dot get GPA. That's what you can do. Okay, that's in the tester. Okay. So as you can see in the student record here, we are basically so this this is definitely much uh this is definitely more complicated than the method before, but it's not too bad. So basically, you're trying to run a for loop, depending on the counter value here, like how many courses you have registered for this person here. And then, the critical bit is really this line over here. How do we retrieve the course grade from the array? Okay. When you say register courses i, this will give you the course objects in the array, like in here. So when you say course, uh, register courses 0, that will give you this course here. When you say Register courses one is going to give you this uh, course object here. Currently, simply now, okay, or maybe some other course objects. Okay, so that's how you do it. And then, if you run tester, it's going to give you the result. Okay, if you do that, that's something like this. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay. If no, so please make sure you understand this. Well, if you encounter any problems, you can come to my office hour. 
Otherwise, I will assume you understand that very well by Friday. Okay. Please don't be shy to ask me for help. I'm not that scary, right? You can just come for me to me to me for help. Don't feel any uh, offended by coming to me for help. That's fine. Okay, just come. Okay. Otherwise, I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay. Have a good night. See you.